Hi, folks. It's been quite a week. <laughs> this is now take number five, just so you know. That's accurate. For this particular one. That's why we're all kind of laughing yeah. here. Yeah. Brent didn't turn his camera on for the first Oh, one. yeah. We've got all kinds of things going on here. Yeah. But I think we're ready. It's the end of the week. That's what it mm -hmm. is. Yep. We put in a full week. You've put in a full week. We've covered some great questions, though. Yeah. We've been exploring, I believe, such an incredibly important subject. Yeah. And uh, so the question of the day, I'm going to throw it right out there. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, how can my problem cause me to grow? Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about that today. And on hand to talk about it, we took Brent out. We traded him to a different team. They aren't <laughs> going to make the playoffs. So we brought in Ethan and Faye. The peanut gallery. There you go. <laughs> Thanks but a lot. We got two for one Guess so. on the trade. Package deal. So, you know, we're, we're pretty happy about it. He's not. He doesn't like a Nuvik so far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> you can tell it's the end of the week, yeah, folks. Okay. Yeah. How can you grow for your problem? We've been mm -hmm. all around this subject. Yeah all week. Yes. yes. This is the capper. We want to pull it all together because uh, problems need to find their purpose and they uh, need yeah. to be, uh, fulfill what they were sent for and what they're part of, even the ones you caused. Yeah. Mm. So there's got to be something good come out of that. That's the work yeah. of God. Yeah. Yes. And so we're going to be furthering that. Mm. To start with, I have to go to the scriptures and read to you a portion that we're going to base this on today. And I want you to follow along with me as I do that. Yeah. I'm in Second Peter chapter 1, and I'm going to start reading from verse 3 NIV version that says, His divine power, meaning God, Christ, has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Now, that's quite a statement, guys. Yeah. Literally, everything. Christ has given us everything that there. we need yeah. for life and yeah. for godliness. A great, a great godly godly life, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes on and he says, uh, uh, through our knowledge of him, knowing Christ, meaning knowing Christ, mm -hmm. through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Another mm -hmm. way of saying that, it's all about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about God, all about Jesus Christ. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, meaning things like, uh, yes, my blood cleanses your sin. Yeah. You repent. I change you. Uh, I got eternity waiting for you. I mean, all of the wonderful promises mm -hmm. that he gives us so that through them, you may participate in the divine nature that uh, you need to get the phraseology. You may participate mm -hmm. in the divine nature. Mm -hmm. If I was to hit the core of this, you are never meant to be a spectator. Right. You are meant to be a participator in Jesus Christ, not a part, not a spectator. Wow. And so as Christians, it's very important that we do that and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Whenever I see the word escape, I think of prison, yeah. right? Yeah. Got to get out of here. Yeah. Well, how do you yeah. escape the corruption in this world? pretty hard on yeah. your own. You can't because you are corrupt. Oh, sorry to offend you. <laughs> you know, uh, no, without, yeah. well, without Christ, we are. Yeah. And yep, me yeah. too. Less than him though. Uh, that's <laughs> how you know I'm really corrupt. Okay. So um, then we go into this very thing and notice this phrasing. For this very reason, what's he saying? Because of all that Jesus has done, the life he's purchased, mm -hmm. that's possible for you. Mm -hmm. And now you can participate in his divine nature and escape the corruption that everybody else is living in. Yeah. And you can have his nature yep. change you. He's saying for this very reason that you've received all of that. He's saying, here's a to-do list. Mm -hmm. If you yep. really want, if you really want yep. to live and be like him, you want right. this life fully lived out. Here's what you do. Make every effort. Oh, I hate that. Work. <laughs> yeah. That's sweat. That's like that, this guy yeah. behind us. That's why he's there. Yeah. Make every effort. It takes work. Yeah. Make every effort to add to your faith. Now, notice his add to your faith. You already got faith. That's locked and loaded mm -hmm. in the first scriptures we read. It's yeah. yours. Now we're talking about something different. Yeah. You build on it. Yes. So now you add to your faith. Listen to the list. Goodness. And to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. Mm. This is an impossible to-do list except by the divine nature, right. which you are a participator in. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, mm -hmm. notice that, that means you just, you never top up. 
Yeah, yeah right. There's no talk. Then he says, they will keep you from being ineffective in your marriage, ineffective in your finance, ineffective in your business, ineffective in your community, ineffective in your family, ineffective mm-hmm. in every area of your life. It'll keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus mm. Christ. Mm. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind, has forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins. Okay, I didn't have that up there, but it's a good verse. Oh, okay, guys, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot in here. There's a lot okay. in here. I love the way it starts because it's like, who among us, well, A, like, wow, we can participate in yes. this. I mean, yes, it it indicates a choice, right? But... I mean, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a participant. Who am I to get to? I'm saved and redeemed because of this faith that's taken care of. So there's so much there. Mm. But then this list, this to-do list of things that uh, we need to add to our faith through effort, through our effort with God's help is, you know, it's, it's pretty overwhelming, but you can see where our life without it, oh, I don't want to be there. I don't want to live in a life without these things growing in me all the time. I know mm-hmm. I've been there, but I, I don't want to stay there. No, you don't oh, want to. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, this just reminds me of uh, a, a time in my life I found myself where, um, you know, I didn't have a great relationship with my dad. And so I found myself at a time where I was just full of bitterness, full of rage, full of anger towards my dad. And God had spoken to me about this for years, <laughs> asking me to put the work in, giving me the option of here you go, here's how you change. And I chose not to. And um And then God just brought me to a point where he said, okay, okay, I love you and I'm with you. But if you are choosing not to, then, you know, you can't expect to be effective or productive. Um, This is where you're going to stay. And I think that is just Mm. so true for everything that we go through. If you're going to stay in it and there and not choose movement or to follow wherever God's leading you out of it or whatever he wants to teach you, then um, you won't have the the gold wisdom or, or learning or whatever, the blessings at the end of it that he wants to give wow. you. So, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Very powerful. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, if you look at, if you read a little bit further on into it, past where we even were before, where it starts telling you, like, you won't stumble in life, like, you'll, you have heaven as a reward, all these things, like, as a Christian, you can't not want that. Like, how, how awesome would it be to know that you could go through the rest of your life and just... You won't stumble. You will mm. be you will be well taken care of. Of course, that's what that's what every Christian wants. But then we get hung up in the middle of this uh, whole talk about the the effort put in, right? Like it's like it's and um, I think it's one of them things where because you don't um, if you stay where you are, you're going to be fine too, right? Like you're forgiven, yes, and you're you have a Christian life. But if you just stay there, you don't get anything more, right? right. It tells us we'll, we'll be multiplied um, every time we put that that effort forward to keep um, adding these things to our lives. But yet, it's easy to just stay in that one simple spot mm. for X number of time, right? Yeah, because it's comfortable. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's where problems are are such a great catalyst for that, right? Mm-hmm. Is is um, sure, even through your problems, you can choose to stay stuck. But often, that is exactly what you need to push you to reflect yeah. and see where you're weak in these areas, mm-hmm. where you're ineffective and unproductive, and and then you have great instruction here on how to move past that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like we said. The Again, like to choose, right? Because you have to make yes. that choice of either not doing it or doing it too, right? So um, one comes with a reward, one gets you ahead, and one keeps you where you're at. Mm-hmm. And so that's a key choice. word for yeah. today is response. Right, mm-hmm. absolutely. That's why I love your story, yes. Faith. Yeah. Because yeah. the response that God brought you to, yeah, painful, and brought you yeah. to sort of that one focal point where you said, you want to stay here? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Up to you. Yeah, up to you. Yep. Mm. And it was sort of like response is everything with the problem. The problem come. But this is saying, look, if badness is affecting your life, mm-hmm. you need to build goodness on top of your yes. faith. Yes. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, the problems of badness are going to show up pretty quick. Oh, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to, hey, here's what we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why I really appreciate what you're, mm. you shared in your story mm-hmm. there. Yeah, absolutely. And I love how this list 
ends with love. It's just, mm -hmm. it's the capper, right? It, these things, if you build them into your marriage, your ministry, your business, whatever it is, um, this is love. This is godly love. It's, uh, you know, it not easily um, attained, but man, what a great way to live. Yeah. It is like first Corinthians 13. That's uh, right. Yeah, a whole nother list. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You think you're done in love. You mm. can do all these good stuff, but if you don't have love, but he's saying love yeah. looks like this, yeah. but love has to be attached to all of these things. Mm -hmm. yes. So in a sense, love can be measured mm. and it can grow. You can actually choose to do that, wow. but you have to build these things. eh? Yeah. So, you know, like a marriage that doesn't want to grow in goodness, how can it live in love? Yeah, mm. it is. I'm, I know I keep coming back to marriage. It's just the easiest yeah. to reach, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, stuff, because Linda needs a lot of work. But <laughs> it's... Uh, you have this list. Why are you laughing it? at you? Now? You're saying I need a lot of work? Come on. Okay. So, you know, but love, love is sort of a result of a lot of work. It is. Yes. Yes. And if you want to take on the mantle of really carrying out love your neighbor as you mm -hmm. love yourself, wow. Mm. Like, it's going to be work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard work. You yeah. can't stand by. You have to be a participant. Yeah. But the beauty of it is you don't, you're not going to be ineffective. That's right. You're yeah. not going to be unproductive. Mm -hmm. You live your life in these relationships. You live your life with these things. And, and if they don't, if you don't grow in it, like all you've done is live ineffectively and unproductive yeah. And, yeah. and you've missed the yeah. biggest opportunities. And yeah. your problems become purposeful. Not yeah. just, they don't just stay problems. They become purposeful yeah. for yeah. your growth, for others benefit, you know. I think yeah. that's an amazing way to look at them. Somebody said to me once they were in the mid midst of a great loss and they mm. said, there better be some purpose mm. in this. Yes. And that's yeah, sort of a phrase it, <laughs> that, you know, yeah. uh, and because it's important to yes. have a sense and feel for that, yeah. that God has got bigger purposes yes. around all of the tragedies, losses, yeah. and the things we bring in ourselves. Yeah, yes. absolutely. You know, in life, mm -hmm. yeah. important. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is. is actually really kind of a cool... Um, end of the week kind of a question. Um, I think of even uh, like how he said at the beginning, he, he, he's given us everything. Um, I think this is something where you could kind of switch or change at any moment, right? That's the cool part about Christianity or choosing good or light over dark, right? Is uh, you can wake up any day or at any moment and just say, I'm going the other direction now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it so cool. So I think like everyone right now is being challenged in different ways in their lives. And this is something that it's like, what, what am I going to choose to finally flip it? You know That's what I mean? Right. Right. I think, I think it's in all our lives, it's very apparent. So it's just facing those questions, answering the question, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good because, uh, you know, without grace as a part of this, mm -hmm. then you can't grow in measure. All you have is constant failure. Mm -hmm. Whereas constant failure here is by perseverance, one of the qualities yes. keeps you in the game of increasing measure. Yeah. That's right. And doing these is increasing measure is where the health and strength is. You don't have to be perfectly good to have goodness is the point. Right. That's right. Yeah. right. But how you become and work towards being good is start with the divine nature and do something with it. Do something mm -hmm. with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It provides game. opportunity, yes. options mm -hmm. that you don't have without it. Yeah. Start. Yeah. Go for it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is that yeah. pretty good? That's pretty good. Yeah. I think take five just might be the take. It might just be the one <laughs> yeah. we keep. <laughs> so I think we need to take take five right now and say, go and discuss take five because mm -hmm. <laughs> it was the fifth day <laughs> and five is seems to be the number for the day. The fifth question. So discuss it yeah. amongst your group and even within your own meditations. How can my problem cause me to grow? Because mm -hmm. it can cause you to start again. Mm -hmm. can cause you to get uncomfortable again mm -hmm. and yeah. start growing the things that make life effective and productive. Yeah. Blessings on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.